So the first law of thermodynamics says the total energy in a system is equal to the energy of flow. So Q plus W are the two uh, terms for energy flow. So then what we did is we said, well, at constant pressure, constant pressure, which our world is commonly at constant pressure. So this is a good assumption for us to say, or a good case for us. Delta U equals Q, and we'll just put a little P there to remind ourselves it's constant pressure, plus W. Well, Q, Q of P, by definition, by pure definition, nothing else, is called the change in enthalpy. So enthalpy is a heat term, just like we saw before. We put it in the sum of Qs equals zero. It's a heat term. It happens to be the energy or the heat at constant pressure. Okay, work is minus P delta V. Okay? Um, so that, this is essentially your first law. You'll want to remember that PV equals nRT, or P delta V equals delta nRT. So this could be substituted. So a type of question you could get would be, you have N, R, and T, and you'd find the work. You're given enthalpy, so you add it to find the delta U. That, that sort of thing. They're, they're pretty simple, just addition problems. So, uh, find this one in your text in chapter 7. Number, oh, before I do this, let's, draw, let's look at the signs. So, here's your system. If uh, energy goes into the system, say in terms of Q, that's a positive. So heat entering the system is a positive number. If it exits the system, it's considered negative. So this is exo or endothermal? Endo, putting heat in the system. Or here, work. When work is, you don't really say work goes into the system. Uh, our terminology is work is done on the system. So work is done on the system, that's positive. If the system does work, that's negative. You just think, oh, nobody likes to do work, right? So that's negative experience. You gotta remember those signs. This is key importance, otherwise you're all messed up with these problems. Otherwise, you just add. All right, so let's try this. Uh, let's see, I'm just looking at number 45 in chapter seven here. So it wants the change in internal energy of a system. If the system, so this is question A, absorbs uh, how much work? Absorbs 58 and does 58. Absorbs 58 joules and then does 58 joules of work. See if I got that right. Okay. So it wants delta U. So you go delta U is Q. What's the value for Q? 58. 58. It's going to be this number right here, positive or negative? Positive. It's going to be positive because it's going into the system, it's being absorbed by the system. Okay? So positive 58. Okay. Uh, plus work. Work is this number, but you want to know if it's a positive or a negative number. Negative, because it does work. 58, zero. There, part A is done. That's it. So these sort of problems, that's essentially it, unless they give you a PV equals NRT sort of question. Okay, let's try another one. B, let's look at what B is. It absorbs 20, 125 joules absorbs 125 joules and then it does 687 joules does 687 joules work okay let's not that all right so this delta u is equal to what's the q term 
yeah, absorbed, it's going into the system, 125. And then what's W? Yeah, minus 687, because it does that amount of work. That means work is leaving the system. So they calculate this in the text to see what they got. Thank you. Minus 562, and that's in joules. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, let's do part C. So I'll erase A. A. Uh, C, oh, sorry. C. C now. C says that it evolves 280 calories. Evolves 280 calories of heat. And has 1.25 kilojoules of work done on it. 1.25 kilojoules. So I grab the door. Thank you. Of work done on it. Okay. So now I'll raise B now. Okay. So now, same thing, delta U equals Q, Q is what now? You got it. Positive or negative? Negative. Negative because it evolves. Well, evolves means goes out, Q is negative, so it's minus 280 calories. The problem with that is we just want to turn it to joules so we can add joules together. So let's do a little conversion. A one calorie, and this will be given to you, is 4.184. You have to look on the back of your test or look it up in your book. There's your conversion to joules. Remember, it's negative is the key. It's negative because it's leaving the system. How about the work term? It's positive because work is done on it. It's 1.25 kilojoules. We've got to change that to joules. So plus 1250 joules. So just multiply by 1,000. And it's positive because work's done on it. And so, let's see what answer they got. Uh, let's see. 80 joules. Is that what you got also? Oh, you don't know. Okay. You're so fast with the numbers. All right. Any questions on that?